Hey there! Welcome back to another episode of Tech with Such. You can now create actions for me using new tools. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and also click the bell icon so you can be notified for future tutorials. Hey Jessica! What is Actions Builder? Great question. So Actions Builder is the way that you can create your conversational model all in the Actions on Google console. So historically, when we first launched Actions on Google, what you would do is you create the project in Actions on Google console, and then you would develop your conversation in Dialogflow, which is a fantastic tool, but you had to go somewhere else and build it there and then import it um, and connect into an integration into Actions on Google. And that workflow wasn't necessarily the best for many developers. I know for me personally, it was like, okay, I'm using Dialogflow, but I'm using um, AOG's client library versus the Dialogflow client library. And there's kind of differences because Dialogflow is aimed more towards kind of chat um, conversations versus natural language conversations with your voice. And so there's just, there's some things that didn't kind of align. And so we went out and we decided to build uh, based off of the kind of similar NLU and actually made the NLU better. Uh, we decided we should build this out and create a tooling for developers for Google Assistant. That way they have everything in one spot and can we make it easier and, and better really for creators because creators of Actions on Google kind of actions are not just developers and they're not just conversation designers. They're both ideally. Ideally you wanna have two people working on this um, and we could see in the future there could be more teams. And so we were trying to think of it in that lens. And so Actions Builder is a new mental model on how you could think of conversations and there's new terms and there's kind of a new way of building. But the key thing is there's Actions Builder, which is the GUI. It's kind of the um, a nice representation of the conversation that's um, fairly friendly and it's easier to kind of follow and track where you are at in the conversation. And then there's also Actions SDK, which is a file-based representation of the same project. And so with these two toolings, what you could do is you could build an action and you could build it in the tooling and environment that you're more comfortable with. I know for me personally, I like the blend of both. I'm a very visual person, so building kind of the outline and what I'm doing and how the conversation is gonna happen using the GUI, using Actions Builder, is fantastic, but then also being able to pull that project down locally and be able to use um, version control and know kind of where my conversation is and kind of have a stamp on like, this is a good working project and being able to share that easily with others is fantastic. So there's these two tools that work really well together um, that can support. And so that's kind of the what and the why of um, Actions Builder in general, but there's a lot of new um, terms and mental models for this. Thank you Jessica. Now that you know Actions Builder, let me know your thoughts on the new tool in the comments below. Also, check out the full tutorials, where Sachin and Jessica go through a complete walkthrough of the new Actions Builder. If you did find this video useful, make sure to like and subscribe for more.